Hello, hello, hello to all my wonderful Sag, Sagittarius. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all, Sagittarius. Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day like I am. <laughs> but then again, I know you are Sagittarius because that's the intention you set. Let's get right into your reading. Your ruling planet is retrograde. Yes, that's good, Sagittarius. When I tell you planets go retrograde, I get excited in a good way. When I hear people go, oh my God, such and such planet is retrograde. This is horrible for me. I'm like, whoa. Oh, wait a second. Do you know what that planet means? Hold on. What it governs? That part of us that it governs? Hold on. Tap into that. Tap, 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 tap in. Yes. So let's get into a Sagittarius. These are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Let's get into your reading. Most High God in the Universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Sagittarius gods and goddesses as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information? do we have for my wonderful amazing yes Sagittarius who are energetic ambitious generous freedom loving yes and seekers of a challenge yes new ideas they're open to new ideas and exploration I'm talking to you gods and goddesses that would be you Sagittarius that I'm talking to let's get into your general reading if you're interested in a personal one my information is down below let's go Sagittarius let's go let's go let's go so you're going to be seeing a lot of synchronicities, right? 11, 11, 22, 22, 33. But this is how the universe is trying to get messages through to you about who is who in your life. Let me tell you, Sagittarius, there's some relationships that have fallen out of range. Yes, let's get that card up here so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. Yes, right here, this moon card. There's some relationships in your life that have fallen out of range. It's not necessarily a bad thing, right? We want to keep our vibrations high. Relationships fall out of range every single day, right? Matter of fact, Pluto is retrograde right now. That's the planet of death rebirth. Some relationships have ended, but it's making room for new beautiful relationships to come into your space. So don't, t don't look at it as a bad thing when relationships fall out of range, right? Some people are busy. Some people got a lot of stuff going on in their lives. Some of it is good. Some of it is not good. But nevertheless, hey, people come and go all the time. We got over 7 billion people on the planet. Nobody's tripping off of one, two, three, four people. Even if they're family members, you're moving on, right? Matter of fact, the world card, Saturn is also retrograde. Isn't this nice? Saturn is retrograde. Saturn is really encouraging us to focus on our long-term goals. This is Aquarius and Capricorn's ruling planet. So if you know of an Aquarius or Capricorn and they're focusing on their coins, their money right now, hey, it's because of Saturn. <laughs> and so that's because again Saturn is the planet of ambition and so there's a there's a windows of opportunity for um, and plus like for we're in the age of Aquarius right so but there's windows of opportunity when planets go retrograde it's like okay let me let me get into it what am I what am I going after right now not only that Neptune Pisces ruling planet is retrograde. So they're focusing on their dreams, like really going after their dreams. So this is, if you have Pisces or Aquarius or Aries in your, I mean, or, or um, Capricorn in your chart, hey, take full advantage of these planets that are retrograde right now. Take full advantage of them. I'm serious. People that have been in your life who have been manipulators, a lot of this, and I keep getting for you Sagittarius, family members, Family members who have been in your lives who have been manipulating you, just taking, taking, taking nonstop from you. They are being exposed left and right. At some point, Sagittarius, you are going to have to make the decision to burn that bridge. You are a fire sign. You can just take that blowtorch and burn that relationship to a crisp. Let just let it go. Let it go. People who continue to take advantage of you, Sagittarius, are basically saying to you, I don't respect you. I don't respect you. I don't respect your energy. I don't respect your space. And I'm going to keep taking advantage of you. I'm going to keep gaslighting you, keep lying to you, being a sociopath because you won't stop me. You won't cut the relationship off, right? So this is not necessarily even passing blame, but every time you give energy to things like that, the manipulators, the liars, the all of that kind of stuff, it causes you a lot of pain. But your ancestors are right there. They are over there watching you, keeping you safe, right? This is the God in you coming back around saying, no, we got you. We've already been here before. We already know how this story plays out. So instead of you crying about it, yeah, you want to get it out. Get it out of your system. That's, that's tears. You're purifying yourself. You're detoxing your spirit. But then make room for your ancestors to pour into you. Yes. 
absolutely. They're not going to leave you nor fail you, right? Not only that, here we have the seven of wands. Seven of wands is really about you getting your power back. This is fire, right? Your power and your identity, knowing who you are, saying, wait a minute, I'm a Sagittarius. I am a God. I am a creator. I can create the life that I want. So if people are falling out of range, like I said, if people are falling out of range, let them fall out of range. It doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's going through a rough or horrible time. It could mean that people are really, really just busy living their lives. doesn't mean that a person has ghosted you or nothing. If you're on two different frequencies, then of course there's going to be static. And a lot of times, unfortunately, people defer to the last you know, the, the low vibrating thoughts that I say something to that person that have offended them. They should have said something to me. That's taking up time and energy and space. That person probably not even thinking about that, especially if they're busy. They're probably thinking about, Hey, I'm making some more money. I'm going to, you know, maybe they even thinking about you. Like maybe they're saying, you know what, when I get to a certain place, I want to treat this person. This person's birthday could be coming up soon. I want to do something really nice for this person. So we have to train ourselves to not always defer to bad things like maybe i said something horrible to this person maybe i did something horrible to this person and let me jump on the defense and defend myself you don't have to do any of that some relationships just fall out of range no ghosting would imply that a person is going to call you back <laughs> that's ghosting right i haven't talked to this person in months they ghosted me mm, not necessarily not necessarily you got to learn the, the spirits of people around you there are some people who um, they go silent because maybe something's going on. Maybe they had a death in their family. Maybe they're, they met somebody and they're trying to nurture a new relationship. I mean, it could be a, personally, I don't put that kind of time and energy into it. Hey, if a person falls out of range and I know they still breathing, Hey, they good. If I, if we didn't have a, a, a argument or nothing, low vibration energy, I'm not assuming anything. That's time and energy. No, Keep it moving. Keep it moving. If I happen to see you in the street, hey, what's up? How you been? Good. Okay, good, good, good. Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. So you're going to get to the God level of clarity and see all these things. See what's what. Some of you all, like I said, and this has been coming through really, really strong, Sagittarius, in the last couple of readings when I look at your cards, is that some of you all have just had family members that have just really jacked some things up for you, like in terms of... Um, not being able to see who the manipulators are and who the, who the uh, sociopaths or uh, people who are not on your same frequency. Just, mm. And that's unfortunate. But again, you all have signs all around you. That's why you got to let relationships fall by the wayside so that you can, you can see the signs in you. Let's say you go to the grocery store and you buy something and it comes up to 11 11 or you go buy some gas and it's $22.22 or you buy a dress and it's $33.33. All of these are signs from the universe trying to tell you something. Y'all saw the color purple, right? God trying to tell you something. Yes. So this is what I'm talking about. Like, let's start disciplining our minds to focus on high vibrational thoughts. Um, if you know a person has started, like I said, a new business or they just got married or had a baby or whatever. Don't look at it as, oh, this person doesn't have time for me anymore. Just just be happy for them and keep it moving. Just be happy for and keep it moving. Here we have um, number 25. Number 25 means that you are a thinker. This is the vibration of the number 25. means that you are a thinker. You're an idealist who is selective, who's analytical, who's also scientific. It also means that you need peace and quiet and you tend to be more reserved. People actually look up to you because of your knowledge and wisdom. In fact, you are adept at observing people in situations with great care. And so that's how you gain wisdom about them as a result. So yeah, let's keep it moving. This is good. When people are exposed around you, you know, I hear, an I hear a lot of people, you know, spending a lot of time and energy replaying it over and over and over and over. Oh, I knew I should have never trusted that person. They did this, they did that, they did this, and I knew something about them. That's time and energy that's wasted. Let people fall out of range. It could be something else. People could be suffering from mental health issues. I mean, for real. And I don't mean that in a in a negative way at all. I mean, there are a lot of people, like for instance, veterans, for instance, who are, are challenged with post-traumatic stress disorder. You could have been in a car accident in post-traumatic stress disorder. You could have been in an abusive relationship, post-traumatic stress disorder. So this is really about having compassion towards people who fall out of range, really. That's all it is, just having compassion towards everybody. Um, 
because I'm telling you, giving too much time and energy in that can cause you to become hostile. It can be. When, why become hostile when the universe is trying to release more money to you? <laughs> why? That's what I'm saying. Just let things fall out of range so the universe can replace that with other things. Move on. Just move on. I see some of you all actually moving though. I really do. I see some of you all actually moving out of where you live right now. Uh, moving on from a job, moving on from a relationship, just, but just moving on, but really moving on in peace, like moving on, um, this right here is not necessarily baggage. This is knowledge and wisdom that you've gained along your journey. This is like, you know what? I've been enlightened that maybe there's some people in my life that I need to burn those relationships to a crisp. Maybe I need to do that. Maybe some family members I need to remove from my life so that I can welcome in a new soul tribe. But here we go, the magician card. Magician card is attached to the planet Mercury, which is no longer retrograde. Mercury is station direct. Mercury is the planet of communication. So communication should be crystal clear. Yes, Sagittarius should be crystal clear right now. Again, let relationships fall out of range. You don't go back and chase people. It is what it is. It is what it is. Wish people the best and keep it moving, right? Some of you all have absolutely been betrayed. This is why, this is why sometimes the feeling or the thought of just being alone is terrifying for some people. That's why some people keep family members who know they don't, they know these family members don't have best interest, your best interest at heart. Or this is why some people keep friendships around feeling like, okay, I don't want to die alone. I don't want to be by myself, but guess what Sagittarius, if you know what I know, you'd rather be alone in peace than be around a bunch of drama, right? So yeah, you want to continue vibrating high and know that you're not by yourself. You're just in a New chapter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're in a new chapter of your life that does not include hostility. Because I'm telling you, keeping certain spirits around, especially manipulators, liars, cheaters, people who have uh, speaking death into your life will cause you to become hostile, almost even volatile. You know, you remember you're a fire sign. We're trying to prevent you from going from zero to a thousand if you don't need to. It's really about burning those bridges, right? Here we have Knight of Wands. Yes, I see a lot of you all starting to get your fire back again, like really getting your fire back. Right, you know, when I talked about one of my um, videos, I talked about um, removing negative energy and beating drums or playing an instrument or clapping your hands removes that, right? You ever go to a concert or whatever at the end, people are, they're loving the concert, they're clapping their hands. That's essentially removing, that's a practice of removing negative energy, right? Those are just, those are just some of the ways. High vibrational music, clapping your hands, taking your broom and sweeping the negative energy out of your house from around your baseboards, up in the, up in the corners of the uh, ceiling and all of that other stuff. But yeah, here we go. This is what I'm seeing for you. Allowing energies to fall out of range in your, um, in your energy space unapologetically. Like I said, you're focusing on your life coming full circle. You're, you're allowing the universe to replace those, those relationships that are dead. You're decluttering and allowing the universe to put the right energies in your space, right? Helping you to vibrate high where you're starting to feel better. You're starting to feel strong or more alive on fire. But that is what I have for you. And again, look out for those synchronicities. Like I said, 11, 11, 22, 22, 33, th those numbers in sync because those are messages from the universe telling you, hey, keep going, Sagittarius. You're going in the right direction, right? Yeah, so this is where you want to feel lightness and joy and expansion. Of course, your planet is Jupiter, which is retrograde right now, which is really encouraging you to go, go back. Pick up those things that you said you wanted to do. You want to paint, you want to write, you want to do poetry, you want to sing, you want to, whatever it is you've been saying that you've been wanting to do, Sagittarius, this is your plan is saying, go for it. We're behind you. We got your back. You know, this is your area where you're going to really, really thrive. So go for it, Sagittarius. That is what I have for you. Have a happy Sunday. Bye.